Now, I don't usually buy a lot of video games, but there's so much hype around a few games this year that I'm gonna have to spend some money on video games. And I never usually do this. I usually buy FIFA, Madden, and NBA, and that's it. That's it, really. I maybe buy the NHL game, but that's really it. I, I don't really buy that much. Oh, boo, you already. Wee! But this year, I'm gonna have to waste some money because I got dates marked down on my calendar that I, I gotta go pick a game up. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. But before we jump into the commentary, let me say if you want cheaper lava coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT Coin Traders. And also, this game was a pretty fun game, and I was going for all kinds of nice goals. And I wanted to do this commentary, and I had this gameplay on my computer. I decided why not use this gameplay for this commentary? It just looked like it fit the fit the occasion. So, like I said, I usually pick up FIFA, Madden, NBA, maybe NHL, and that's really it. I, I, I'm, I'm that type of guy that just sticks to sports games and nothing else. But when I started my second channel on, on YouTube, when I started playing Minecraft, it opened up my eyes to maybe I don't play enough games. If I enjoy video games so much, why don't I open up the door to more games? This game that goes by the name of Minecraft has been a game I've been playing for a few months now. And I think to myself, like, damn, why didn't I start playing this game a long, long time ago? It's such an epic, fun game. And I feel like I might be doing that with a few other games. For example, GTA. Call of Duty. St. Row. I buy these games, but I never play them hardcore. Black Ops, the first Black Ops, I played that game a lot. I did, I'm not gonna lie. I played that game a lot. Well, not a lot, but I played it probably for like a month. <laughs> I don't know if that's considered a lot, but see what had happened was I used to live stream a lot like you guys know and I, I used to talk to a lot of my mods on Skype and my mods used to play Call of Duty every night after the live stream while I was editing videos and I'd be like, yo, what are you stupid noobs always so excited about? Why are you having so much fun? I want to have fun and they told me to get Black Ops and I did and well, the rest is history. I had so much damn fun on that game, so... I got to pick up Call of Duty Ghost. I have to. And Call of Duty Ghost drops September 17th. That's just a few days before FIFA drops. Because FIFA drops September 24th. So I'm going to be at GameStop picking up GTA. Or no, excuse me. Call of Duty. And then I'm going to go right back a few days later and pick up FIFA. <laughs> I'm going to have so much games to play this year. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to them all. Now, I spend a lot of time editing, so I don't even know if I'll be able to play all these games. But I have a few games I'm going to buy. Let, let, let's start at the beginning. St. Row comes out, I believe, like, August 29th. St. Row 4, I believe it is. And I don't know how much I'll play of this game, okay? I, I, I don't really know. I, I've seen a few people talk about it on Twitter. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to pick it up. I just know it comes out really, really soon. And I want you guys to let me know if I should pick it up. Because that one, I'm not really sure about yet. But we move forward to August 27th, 2013. Madden. NFL Madden is dropping. And I'll be the first one in that store, baby. Because Madden is a game that I love. Madden is a game that I get it every single season just like I get FIFA. I'm all right at it. I don't, I don't consider myself a good player, but I just really, really enjoy Madden. I love that game. I love the franchise mode in it. I'm a big fan of American football. I'm not sure if you guys know that or not, but I absolutely love Madden, so I'll pick that one up instantly, especially with the stuff that they're talking about for this year. I'm real, real excited about that game. Then we move a little bit forward to August, excuse me, September 17th, 2013. I believe this is the most hype game. I'm serious, man. Every time I log on to Twitter, this damn game is trending. GTA 5, September 7th, 2013. If I get any dates wrong, I truly 100% apologize. Now, GTA is a game I'm picking up for sure. How much will I play of it? I don't know. And the reason I don't know is, let me explain. I get motion sickness when I play games that are super 3D. That's why I usually just stick to FIFA's and Madden's. 
My stomach gets all like, have you ever been on a boat? If you've been on a boat before and you get seasick, that's how I feel when I play games that the camera moves too fast. Even if I lower the sensitivity, I get all messed up, yo. Call of Duty does it to me. Uh, uh, any game does it. The first game I noticed it on was back on like Nintendo 64 where it was like Mario 64 or something. Mario 3D, whatever it was called. That was the first game I noticed, noticed that I get motion sickness when I'm playing these games. It's the stupidest thing in the world, man. It's, I got a JJ stomach. I mean, I even gone to the doc, doctor about it, and I said, dude, you got to fix her stomach. Yo. I'm trying to play some games. I want to play the games. So, GTA, I don't know how much of it I will play, but I'm going to purchase it for this reason and this reason only. Not only will I probably play it, I need GTA for my storylines in FIFA 14. Have you guys noticed in my storylines, I either use Sims, APB, I use, like, I've used St. Rose before. I think I, be I believe I used GTA once or twice, maybe not. But this one, I really, really want to use GTA a lot. Especially with, I know GTA 5 is just going to be epic. The, the city will look sick and the graphics will look amazing. I know I need to use it. I'll probably be able to be able to do some really, really cool storylines on GTA 5. So, September 17th. I'm going to be in the store picking up GTA 5. I think it's the most hyped game of the, of the year so far. This game is hyped big time. We move a little bit forward to September 24th. FIFA 14 releases in the U.S. You guys already know I'm going to be there. You guys know I'm not going to sleep for 24 hours after I pick that game up. I'm going to be going ham. I'm going to be playing all kinds of game modes. I'm going to be playing manager mode, my player, ultimate team. I want to play them all the same day. <laughs> I'm going to be going ham on FIFA 14. So there's not really much to talk about. We already talk. We talk about FIFA 14 every day. There's not really much to talk about. Check out that for a goal. Oh, that's a pool. Yeah. <laughs> right, this game was epic. Let's move a little bit forward to November 1st. November 1st is NBA 2K14. I will 150% pick this game up. Matter of fact, I should probably have it pre-ordered already. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This game I will pick up because you've heard me say it multiple times. NBA always has the best my players. Not only that, I've been watching NBA pretty co closely. I've been reading what's coming on twitter i've read the, the news about the game on twitter i've seen youtube videos about the game they're bringing a mode back called nba uh, or in nba 2k 14 they're bringing a uh, uh, a mode back called crew and this mode is pretty much their clubs it's exactly identical to the fifa 14 or fifa 13 clubs and in in, in nba 2k uh, uh, 11 I picked that game up, and, and me and my cousin, we had our own crew on that game, and it was just absolutely amazing. You guys know how fun clubs is on FIFA? Well, just imagine it on NBA, and it's just it's just super fun, man. It's ridiculously fun. In NBA 2K11, you can make your own jerseys. You had your own shoes. Everything was customized. It was amazing. Yo, such a fun game mode. They're bringing that back. So I'm excited for the clubs in NBA. And I'm excited for the My Player in NBA. So I will 100% pick that game up November 1st. Maybe I'll see you in the store. Maybe I'll be there with you. Maybe we pick it up together. Now let's move forward to Call of Duty Ghost. November 5th, 2013. If I get any of these dates wrong, I apologize. Yo. I just I Googled the dates. You know, I probably got them all wrong. Oh, well, yellow. <laughs> Call of Duty this is probably the first Call of Duty that I've watched closely before it released. And the reason for that is I follow a lot of people on Twitter that are massive Call of Duty fans. And I also talk to a lot of people on Skype that like follow the MLG scene of Call of Duty. And I'm going to be honest with you. Black Ops, the first one. Remember that story I was telling you of me playing with my mods and, and a bunch of friends? That was one of the funnest periods I went through of gaming. I would stay up all damn night playing that game. I, I, I would look out the window and the sun was coming up because I was playing Call of Duty all night with my friends. I mean, the jokes, the, the laughs, the, the making fun of people, the trolling, 
that's what makes that game good. Like the whole Call of Duty and, and, and Battlefield. Guys, I, I don't even care. I don't even care which one's better. All that makes those games fun, in my opinion, both those games, is being in a lobby with your friends and just laughing. And Call of Duty, I sucked, okay, guys? I, I, I sucked. I'm talking about what's the worst KD you can have? Okay, yeah, mine was worse than that. <laughs> I sucked in Black Ops, okay? But I was good at talking smack. I used to get into the lobby, and I would play with like five or six dudes and... Wait, not five or six. Wasn't it just five a team or something? I'd play like four. Let me stop exaggerating. It was like three or four guys, and we would have a full team. Or I don't even, I, I'm such a noob, I don't even remember how many people it was in the team. But there was me, and then we would fill it up with the rest of my friends, right? And my friends were really, really good players, man. These guys would be getting like dogs every game, and they, they were good. These guys went on crazy kill streaks. And then there was me that would always come last. But I would get that one kill that everybody would laugh so hard because I got so excited about it. <laughs> but the thing is, is I sucked so bad that I used to get into the lobby and everybody would be talking to their mics. And I would just be like, hey, guys, do you guys know you're going to get absolutely annihilated this match? Do you know that we're about to give you the willy? Do you know that you're about to get the double D? And people would try to talk smack to me back and they would make fun of my KD. And then we would annihilate them, destroy them. And then I would just be like, how do you guys feel like getting owned by me? <laughs> we used to troll so hard. I would be the guy that trolled. My boys would be the guy that would, they would wipe them all up. And then I would just come in and talk a little bit of smack at the end. It was hilarious. And we used to do that all night, every night for like a month or two, man. It was so fun. That was the first Black Ops. And now, with the hype I've seen on Twitter of this game, I was watching some like... I guess it was an event that's going on like three or four days ago and they were showing the trailer and there was people talking about the game and it was a massive event. I don't even know what the hell it was, but it was a massive event where they were showing Call of Duty Ghosts and I, I mean, I was just like, I got to get it. I got to get it. I want to play it with subscribers and play it with people in a live stream and just have loads of fun like I used to because I'm telling you guys, man, th things that I have the most fun with Obviously, most of the time you got to play games by yourself, but things that make gaming fun is the people you play with. Clubs on FIFA is one of the funnest modes if you have the right people around you. Call of Duty, one of the funnest games if you have your friends with you. What else? What else is there? I mean, any game that, that you're doing multiplayer with your friends, it's fun, man. It's so much fun. And Call of Duty, got, I had so much fun during that time, and that's why I'm going to pick up ghost on november 5th so my calendar is full right now and my wallet my wallet's gonna be hurting for the next couple months i mean think about it 60 bucks is a lot of money for games and not only is 60 bucks a lot of money i gotta buy consoles too <laughs> yep we have a lot of money to waste this year on games but i expect a fun exciting year I mean, Madden, GTA, Call of Duty, FIFA 14, NBA 2K 14. I can't wait. And I know the comments are going to go crazy in the, in the comments down below saying, these games you're going to pick up, skills, you got to find a way to put them on YouTube. You got to do series on these games. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something, guys. I don't know if it's, I'm not going to promise you guys nothing, but if I do start playing any of these games hardcore, and, uh, you know, I'm up to date on my FIFA videos. I'm up to date on my Minecraft videos. I might just have to attempt another channel. I don't know if I'll do it. I'm not making no promises. But a channel that I play every single type of game. Random games. Maybe not even upload to the channel every day. Upload every other day of random games. I honestly don't know if I have that much time on my hands, but... If I can find a way to fit it in, I will try. What games are you going to buy? Let me know down below.